Hi guys, so lately I've been receiving some questions regarding the power consumption of the TiVo Tornado 3D printer, mostly because of its solid state relay controlled AC heat pad. I've done a few tests and while I was running them I got a little bit curious and decided to test and compare between five different 3D printers. For the tests I used this highly accurate device. Okay. It's not a highly accurate device, but it gives a pretty good idea of how much an electronic device is consuming. This meter shows the input AC voltage and the frequency, the current being drawn, the power at the current moment, and the power factor, the max power reached, the consumed kilowatt hour and the costs. If you know how much you pay for each kilowatt hour, this will calculate automatically. The printers I'm testing are the TiVo Tarantula with a small heat bed with insulation at the bottom side, the TiVo Tarantula with the big heat bed and no insulation at the bottom. This one is equipped with the dual Z stepper motors. The Tronxy X8, the TiVo Black Widow, and of course the TiVo Tornado. In my table, I'm taking notes of the power while in idle, the kilowatt hour for the total print time, the printing time, and how much time it took the heat bed to reach 60 degrees. To test all five printers, I sliced a model and used the same G-code for all five printers. The goal here is not about the print quality of the model, but instead is to make them print the same model and see how much electric energy each one will consume. And here are the results. For the tarantula with a small heat bed, I recorded 12 watts while in idle and a total of 220 watt hour for a print time of 2 hours and 23 minutes and it took 2 minutes to reach the set temperature. For the uh, tarantula with the big heat bed, I recorded 13 watts while in idle and a total of 330 watt hour for a printing time of 2 hours and 9 minutes and it took 2 minutes and 48 seconds to reach the set temperature. For the uh, Trunk CX-8 I recorded 7 watts while in idle, a total of 210 watt hour for a printing time of 2 hours and 4 minutes and it took 2 minutes and 30 seconds to reach the set temperature. For the Black Widow, I recorded 19 watts while in idle, a total of 380 watts hour for a printing time of 2 hours and 15 minutes, and it took 2 minutes and 30 seconds to reach the set temperature. And finally, for the Tornado, I recorded just 5 watts while in idle, a total of 130 watt hour for a printing time of 2 hours and 4 minutes and it took only 1 minute and 11 seconds to reach the set temperature. When comparing all the values, we can clearly see that the TiVo Black Widow was the one that consumed more to print this model, while the TiVo Tornado was the one that consumed less to print this model. If we take the price of the kilowatt hour into account, and I'm going to calculate using my kilowatt hour cost. This print, in terms of electricity, cost me around two cents with the tornado, while with the Black Widow, the cost was almost three times higher at six cents. So, with these numbers in mind, I think it's safe to say that the big AC heat bed of the TiVo Tornado is actually very efficient. So, I hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.